What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, guys, so we are going to continue our coverage over Night Terrors. Now, remember, this is DC's big summer event for the year 2023, but when it comes to Night Terrors, it's about the idea that right now we have a new bad guy out there known as Insomnia. And when it comes to Insomnia, he's right now looking for something called the Nightmare Stone. Now, for him to find the Nightmare Stone, he has to jump around between different people's nightmares as a way to hopefully find the Nightmare Stone. And so what he did was he put the entire world to sleep so that it would be easier for him to jump around between different people's nightmares as a way to hopefully find the Nightmare Stone. Now, with that being said, the main storyline really does focus on the idea that you do have a bunch of heroes right now working together to hopefully stop Insomnia from finding the Nightmare Stone and actually using it. But when it comes to the tie-ins, all the different tie-ins are a way for us to explore the nightmares of different DC characters, both heroes and villains. And so today's video, we're going to focus on the Robins. And the reason why I say Robins is because we focus on two particular Robins, Jason Todd and Tim Drake. Now, we already covered Night Terror's Robin number one, where we were able to explore the nightmares or the worst fears of Tim Drake and Jason Todd. Now, when it came to Tim Drake, his worst fear is about the idea that he feels like he is a failure. And what I mean by that is because a lot of people had died ever since he became Robin and him being a hero, that technically he felt like he should have been able to save all the lives of the people he had lost, including his father, because his father did die right after he did became Robin. Now, on top of that, though, Jason Todd is also in the same nightmare world as Tim Drake is. And when it comes to Jason Todd's nightmare, he's technically hating on himself because he feels like he failed as a hero or he failed as a Robin, a sidekick to Batman. And so right now, you have the two characters battling their worst fears, their worst nightmares. Tim Drake is fighting the ghost of his father, and Jason Todd is fighting himself, who's right now some kind of weird creature, some weird nightmare creatures of himself. Either way, those are the two nightmares of these particular characters. Now, let me say this real quickly, guys. I really do love this storyline. And the reason why, because I kind of went back in my mind and said, you know what? When it came to all the different Robins, you know, you had all these great Robin stories where Dick Grayson teamed up with Jason Todd or Jason Todd teamed up with Damian Wayne or Tim Drake teamed up with Dick Grayson. But then I realized, wait a second, have we ever seen a storyline where it's Tim Drake and Jason Todd? Because we even saw Damian Wayne with Dick Grayson when they were Batman and Robin, even after they were Batman and Robin. But Jason Todd and Tim Drake, I don't think they had a storyline where it's kind of like, man, that was a good Robin moment. These two Robins sharing a Robin moment. Because right now you have the two characters actually working together to kind of help each other escape this nightmare. And what I mean by that is, look, so, Jason Todd feels like he is a failure, a failure as Robin, but you have Tim say, no, you're not a failure and no one else thinks that you are a failure. Now to Jason Todd, he believes that he is a failure. He feels like no one in the Bat family actually cares for him, but you have Tim say, no, that is not true. We do care for you. No matter how much you push us away, we are always going to be there for you. But then you have Jason Todd kind of help out Tim Drake. Not kind of, he does. Because you have Jason Todd tell Tim Drake, okay, you know what? You help me, now I'm gonna help you. Tim, you're not a failure as a Robin. Matter of fact, you're the best Robin. We were chosen, but you technically chose the life for yourself. You demanded the role and you took the role and you made the role for yourself. Like technically you are literally the definition of a Robin. Like, trust me, Damien, he's cool. Dick, he was great. Me, maybe not that great. Either way, you are the best Robin. And yes, 
Some people have died under your watch, but guess what? It happens as a hero. But on top of that, the reason why you're kind of doubting yourself and putting this pressure on yourself, because you're trying to be like Batman. You're not him. You are Tim Drake. And just like that, bam, the two have now come together and now they can begin the process of actually escaping this nightmare. And so that is the moment where you do have the nightmare begin the process of pulling the two characters apart from one another. But now these two characters have the ability to say, you know what? We can conquer our nightmares. We can conquer our fears. We should be able to actually break out of here together. So let's conquer our fears and then meet back up so that we'll be able to actually break out of here. And so for Tim Drake, He's up first because right now he has to conquer the idea that he's not a failure. Yes, his father did die. Yes, he could have saved his father. But at the same time, maybe he couldn't save his father. It all comes down to possibly some things happening differently at that moment. Either way right now, it's Tim Drake realizing that he is not a failure. And yes, he's not Batman, but he is Robin. He's his own character. He can do what he has to do, but he cannot think of himself as Batman. Either way, you have Tim Drake say, no, you're not real. Yes, my dad died. It's okay. But you know what? I know my dad wouldn't want me to punish myself over his death. And for Jason Todd, it's more about the idea that right now you have Jason Todd realizing that he has a family. Now, his nightmare, his fear really bothered me. Like, yes. This is a great storyline, but the problem I have with this storyline for Jason Todd is that we have seen it so many times, you know, over and over again. Oh my gosh, I'm Jason Todd. The Bat family hates me. I'm on my own. But in reality, every time the story ends with that, no, Jason, you're not alone. You have help. You have the Bat family. And then he's good again. And then a new writer comes in is all like, oh no, I'm Jason Todd. I have no one. It literally recycles over and over again. And so right now it's kind of like, oh man, this was a good storyline, but this still bothers me because it's Jason Todd once again saying he's alone, but he's not alone. Either way, he does tell the nightmare creatures, don't worry, I know I have help coming soon. And it's him right now realizing that he can rely on the bad family and especially Tim Drake. Now, this is actually very important, guys. And the reason why, because we also have to remember that in the order of Robins, it was Dick Grayson first, Jason Todd second, and Tim Drake third. Now, with that being said, Jason Todd died. And so Tim Drake replaced Jason Todd, I wanna say two years after or a year after Jason Todd died. Either way, when Jason Todd died, it was kind of like, okay, are we gonna have another Robin? And DC said, yes, here is Tim Drake. And fans love Tim Drake a lot. But the thing is though, when Jason Todd came back to life, he saw Tim Drake. And he looked at Tim Drake as kind of like the person who had replaced him. Like it was no big deal that a Robin had died. But not realizing that it was technically Tim Drake kind of honoring both Dick Grayson and Jason Todd because they both came before he did. And so even though Jason Todd kind of looked at Tim the wrong way, it was still kind of like, no, dude, I try to honor you because you were a Robin before I was. Either way, the two still have bad blood. Even when Tim said, no, I'm trying to honor you, Jason still looked at Tim with bad blood. Now, here we are again right now with this storyline. It seems like these two characters are kind of moving past that moment, which honestly is kind of like, it's been a long time coming, y'all, because these two characters been around for a very long time. Jason Todd came back to life back in like 2004, 5, or 6. So either way, we're almost 20 years later, and we're now just finally saying these two characters are going to settle their beef. Either way, once you have the two characters come together and work together, they are now able to actually escape this nightmare. Dick Grayson, not Dick Grayson, sorry. Uh, Tim Drake is able to realize that he's no longer a failure, that his father's death is not on him, and Jason Todd is also not a failure, and he does have a family that does support him. And so they do come together, and they're able to actually escape the nightmare realm. 
Now the book does end with the two Robins being able to actually escape the nightmare realm and being of course going back into the world of the living. Now the way this tie-in does end we do get told that it is the end and what I mean by that is usually each tie-in so far we have covered technically they're going to be involved in like night terrors the end or night terrors number three or four in some kind of way but when it comes to the robins kind of like no they're done their story is done and now they can just go ahead and just stay in gotham and help out gotham while the other heroes actually deal with insomnia but with that being said this is where we are going to end today's comic book video but yeah I really do like this one a lot, guys. With that being said, please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.